Hi there, this is In Review of November the 25th, and I invite you to view these as paintings like I do. People consider the navel a vestigial nub and think nourishment only comes through the mouth. Well, not so. The knowledge of nature is a great mother, and vitality untold lies in the region of the umbilicus. The old books say the knowledge of nature is a great mother, and it provides for us as a mother would. It shelters us and nourishes us. It makes our life possible. We are literally tied to the vitality of it. Lying dormant inside us are points of concentration. Most people are unaware that concentration on these points will yield specific forces, cure ailments, alter consciousness, and still the mind. Like a treasure buried in the ruins of a sacred place, these spots only await discovery before they give their owner wondrous powers. One such spot is in the area of the navel. When you concentrate there, you will find that great vitality comes your way. It will be as if you are still connected to your mother through the umbilicus, and power and tremendous physical well-being will come your way. So that was the first part of November the 25th, and this is the second part. Out of season rain dashes crowns of princely trees. Perplexed travelers ask for reasons huddling under worn eaves. Those who follow the knowledge of nature make much of knowing and acting in conformity to the cycles of seasons. They have made a science of studying the exact ways in which events progress. Some have become so skillful that their lives are admired as nearly magical. Yet when things happen out of turn, even these wise ones are surprised. Such is the case with unseasonable rain. It is supposed to be a hot summer, yet it is a day like a mild winter. What is there to do but to accept it? Following cycles does not mean that you can accept things to occur with precision and regularity. The actual ways that circumstances develop will always remain beyond complete regimentation. Nature doesn't act according to human theories. Rather, our sciences are imperfect at analyzing nature exactly. The follower is always flexible and adaptable to circumstances. Even if there's a personal desire to do something and advanced preparation has been made, the follower must nevertheless bow to nature. Knowing how to put aside personal priorities in order to fulfill the demands of the time is amongst the greatest of skills. Thank you. See you again. Bye.